The Sisterhood of the Rose was created in the time of Lumeria and later as priestesses in Atlantis. They gathered together in circles of 12 to activate the flame of divine love, of harmony, of abundance, of joy and peace through the hearts of all humanity. There were 12 groups of 12 women who formed the Sisterhood of the Rose. The goddess symbol is the rose. But it is through self-love that this beautiful pink flame of divine love activates within your heart. The feminine principle was suppressed by the archons throughout the human history by female sexual energy control and manipulation. And the key to liberate the feminine is for women and men to allow themselves to activate this beautiful pink flame of divine love within their hearts and the healing too of their lower bodies so that they may experience their full magnificence and light so they may embrace their pain and anger their guilt and their shame and their perceived separation as the lower bodies are purged know that the sisterhood of the rose oversees this process the sisterhood of the rose took this beautiful pink flame of divine love out in the four directions of the earth to assist mother earth and all her life also working directly with the energy of Sirius, the Pallades, and the Galactic Center. For it is Sirius and the Pallades that draw into alignment the influx of energy that activates through the Galactic Center and the Sun and the Central Sun to a greater knowing of your multidimensionality as initiates of light. The Goddess is the manifestation of the feminine essence that has manifested in different generations and in different ways across all nations of the world, producing with it variations of the same theme. The goddess symbol is the rose, and the rose is often the first thing that draws a person into the relationship with the sisterhood. But the magic and energy of the goddess vibration in the sisterhood of the rose then extends us to a relationship with the stars and the Shambhala star in particular. Each group of the original 12 women was loosely organized into four cardinal directions of north, south, east, and west. Their work involved holding each color ray steady and balancing their work within the four quadrants of the earth under the guidance of the appropriate goddess with the assistance of the angelic realms. The angelic realms managed the energy grids of earth and keep the polarities in balance in order to secure the health and well-being of planet earth. Information and knowledge was also stored in Tibet. Tibet is a land where revelations come in, the monasteries and nunneries situated in high places where there are no distractions. It is just you, the earth and God. Every monastery is unique. One monastery called the Monastery of the Mystic Rose acted as the record keeper of the Rose records. This was the case. It is thought that the members of the sisterhood came from the sect of the essence with Mary the mother as their master Asani. The wisdom contained in the Lost Scrolls includes information about the sisterhood and the feminine face of God lost for centuries. The sisterhood has a direct lineage to and linkage to these realms and to the universal symbols themselves. Members of the sisterhood have always acted as the guardians of these universal symbols. They are responsible for releasing these symbols to us now. Did you know that there is an image of the interacting of the rose galaxies? The smaller galaxy passed through the larger one and stretched into a rose shape by the gravitational tidal pull of its lower neighbor. It has been requested from the light forces that women and men with inner connection with the goddess begin to gather in groups to reactivate the sisterhood of the rose. These groups need to gather physically or virtually at least once a week and invoke the goddess energy for planetary peace, love, harmony in their own unique way. These groups will become the feminine aspect for support for the planetary transition into higher consciousness and the reemergence of the planetary goddess of light. 
Venus Sun transit in 2004 and 2012 were coded signs in the sky to reactivate the Sisterhood of the Rose. The summer of 2012, a grand trine of Aries, Lilith, and Chiriklo activated the goddess archetype on the planet on a deeper level than ever before. It is interesting to note that at the same time, the outer solar system objects Chiriklo, Pholus, and Ixion made a triple conjunction in late Sagittarius, close to the position of the galactic center. This signifies a breakthrough of suppressed goddess archetype from the collective unconscious on a planetary level. That goes to show that as above, so below, as within, so without, is so much very true. My beloved followers and subscribers here on YouTube, become a part of the sisterhood. This right here is exactly what I was just explaining about the Venus Sun transit in 2004 and 2012, where from the Earth we could see the Venus Rose patch. And there were five retrograde conjunctions with Earth over eight years. Please join me in my own collective sisterhood of the Rose. Divine priestesses, this is a final call final call i will be posting more videos on my channel about the sisterhood of the rose but this is my final transmission and call to the sisterhood of the rose to comment reply like here on this channel on this video there will be other calls but none like the sisterhood of the rose right now today marks the final call to all sisterhoods of the rose for this specific group that doesn't mean that there won't be more callings in the future but i am sustaining a final call in this specific transmission and video activation of your dna that you answer the call and join me in healing the divine feminine energies for generations to come and generations before us to heal the oppression in the Divine Feminine Collective. Namaste.